Well, this is something I did not know. As I said earlier, enlisted women have only been allowed to serve on submarines since 2016. That really is hard to believe. It is. But when you start to think about big picture of the Navy, things kind of go into place. But the cool part is we had access, and we were recently able to catch up with 19-year-old seaman Madison Glass. She enlisted and now serves as a sonar technician aboard the USS Ohio. The USS Ohio is the largest sub in the Navy's fleet, almost two football fields long. At one time, it carried nuclear ballistic missiles. Now, it's a guided missile sub. And seaman Madison Glass is one of about 20 women on board, out of a crew of 160. Keep in mind, no one is assigned to serve on a sub. You volunteer and are accepted if you meet physical and mental requirements. I just think it's super cool. I know that sounds nerdy. It's just the, the science behind how how we operate and do what we do is just interesting to me. Seaman Glass is a sonar technician listening to the sounds of the ocean. It sounds like white noise until you hear um, like a contact. You can tell, you can like a, like a, a merchant, like a big freighter, you can hear how loud it is, how big it is. You can hear animals like a shrimp sounds like little like snapping and whales. They sound like whales, you would expect whales to sound. There's some fish that sound like they're screaming. The sub can stay underwater for months. They make their own power, their own air, their own fresh water. The only thing they occasionally stop for is food. The thing that has surprised me is I thought the submarine inside of it was going to be like super cramped. Like I was not gonna be able to move and have my own space, but um, it's actually, it's pretty roomy. And Seaman Glass says even though women are way outnumbered on the sub, she gets nothing but respect from the men she work alongside. If you can do your job, it doesn't matter, you know, if I'm a girl or not. I love my crew, I love um, my boat, I love my job. And I would um, tell a young girl like, you know, you're just as capable, you're very smart. I can say that I've done a lot already and I can't wait to experience the rest. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I don't think I could do that. It takes, I've thought about it. You have to go through training, like oh, they have psych tests so. and whatnot. Wow. And you literally live amongst the silos. I was on a nuclear sub when I uh, was in Jacksonville. Got to You went be, down? You I went? didn't get to go down, oh, right. but I was in oh, it. Okay. And it is tight quarters. You're yeah. very close. And as you can imagine, the Navy has done some modernization of some of those submarines to allow for men's and women's accommodations. Yeah. And that has been kind of something they've been working on. So all of the newer ships that are coming out will have that designation and both men and women will be serving. That is amazing, okay. Um, the movie Crimson Tide. Mm -hmm. okay. Hunt for the Red October. Or Hunt, Hunt for, for Red, Red October. October. And there's an old movie that mm -hmm. first that is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Das Boot. No. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was like a point of view camera. This is a long time ago. Right. Now. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, the USS Ohio is the largest in the fleet. It is a far cry from the blessed cod that is sitting out <laughs> in Lake Erie right now. The USS Cod is just a great relic to be able to go and visit. Yes, so is. if you have a chance with your family to visit, that is a really cool piece of history that yeah. we have docked well, right That was here. a really cool story. Yeah, thank All you right. very much.